consider this scenario. You have this video file and you have a DVD. You want to burn this video file onto this DVD and be able to play this DVD in virtually any DVD player. All right, we're back on my desktop and we are remoted into my media PC that's in my living room. The reason we're, I'm remoted into this one and gonna be doing everything off this computer is because that's the only one that I have that has a DVD burner on it right now. It's pretty sad, isn't it? So the video here is on the desktop. It's called Movie For You. It's just what I named it, just to make it stand out. It's an AVI file. Uh, the size is 1.17 gigs. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just launch the application, which is DVD Flick. Now when you install DVD Flick, it's gonna to wanna to install Image Burn, or it's gonna give you the option to install Image Burn. Um, I highly recommend Image Burn. It's worked well for me over the years. And uh, so we're just gonna go with Image Burn on this one. Um, all right, so let's make this as quickly and painless as possible. On the top here, we're gonna click on Project Settings. Under the General tab, you can give it a title if you like. Movie for you. Video, I'm just gonna leave everything default there. Audio, everything default. Playback. Uh, we're going to leave that default and then burning. Now here you can see we have the option to create an ISO image, which we are going to do, or we can burn project to disk, but that is grayed out for me. Now I'm not sure if it's grayed out because uh, DVD Flick is not recognizing my particular um, DVD burner or if it's because we're doing this via remote desktop. I doubt it's because we're doing it because of RDP, but... Um, I'm just throwing it out there. So we're gonna, in this case, we're just gonna create an ISO image. We're gonna just give it a label, um, uh, movie for you label, just so the name stands out. We're gonna go ahead and accept that. Let's go ahead and add a title. So on the top right up here, click on add title. You can see we are already in the desktop here. So I'm gonna go ahead and double click that and bring that in. It's an hour, 20 minutes. Uh, it contains one audio track. So. Pretty much, all you gotta do is down here, this is the project destination folder. Let's go ahead and let's put it right in movie for you and let's name it to uh, this movie, just to make it stand out. Okay, and let's go ahead and click on create DVD. Now it's gonna do its thing. It's gonna go, as you can see down the list, it's gonna prepare files, encode video, encode audio, combine sources, add subtitles, author DVD and finalize. Uh, when it's done, we will have a an ISO created for us and we'll just burn that using image burn. So stand by. And I'm back for just a second. I wanted to show you this process priority because I'm doing nothing else with the system right now. If we go ahead and just bring this up, bring up the performance. We're gonna go ahead and raise this to above normal and just let that continue to run. You can see now it's going to start utilizing a lot more um, CPU resources and everything. So let's just let it do its thing and we will return. Okay, it's been an hour and 11 minutes and um, it's now finished. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and launch Image Burn. And we want to write image to disk. And let's go ahead and actually we'll just browse to the file. And we're already in the directory, and there it is right there. Go ahead and open it. It found our DVD burner. Uh, I don't want to verify. And I'm going to, we'll just leave it on auto. There we go. So let's just click that, and it's going to burn. So I will pause it and come back in just a few minutes when this is done. And now we are done with uh, burning it. So you should just be able to pop out that disc, put it in a DVD player, and... Uh, and it should play if all went well. Mm -hmm.